Good morning, folks. We've got the plasma filament party in the corona disbanding. Stragglers only on the south now. We've got three science updates today and a look around the world as we begin over at spaceweathernews.com. And we find the last 24 hours on our star began with the finishing of the southern filament snap between the coronal holes and then not much else. Sunspots are turned away and the solar wind streams from the coronal holes are the only space weather to watch for. The filaments largely collapsed down, but a few did eject as small CMEs. Nothing major as we see Jupiter peeking out from solar conjunction there, Saturn over to the right. The southern coronal holes are not only set to deliver enhanced solar wind, but they are generating an earthquake watch. Magnitude potential is on the rise, and just as these coronal holes are settled on the south, the top blood echo zones on Earth right now are in the South Pacific, both sides with atmospheric signals as well. The winter storm pounding the United States has toppled a number of snow records. It's global warming all over the place out here on the heels of record cold and snow snaps that hit Spain, the Middle East, and China. Right now, a split polar vortex is driving across the North Pole towards the Americas, and that's fun. Folks, we've got a new space record up next, and it falls into the proto-cluster category. When it comes to the cosmic timeline, it's not just that we've got the Methuselah star, thought to be older than the Big Bang. Presenting a problem, and at only 200 light-years away, it's probably not the only one. And it's not just that the supermassive galaxies and quasars are appearing too big, too early in deep space, but proto-clusters do as well. And today we find the most distant proto-cluster to date, this one even further away than the previous timeline problem, and they're also able to characterize the intergalactic medium as being fully ionized. This indicates the electric nature of the medium and everything that comes along with it, and tells us indeed that there were no islands in space back then either. Everything is connected. We're off next to look at the Met Office Hadley Farrell and Polar Cell animation, and between the cells is where we find the jets. Today we're seeing a continuation of one of the most important solar forcing connections, and most impressively, they did it without using the solar particles, but they mimicked it by ramping up the UV in the model and saw changes within just 10 days, and absolute jet changes within one month. While this doesn't help the short-term studies using flare energy on the hours to days time scale, it is a nice nod to the longer-term forcing and the consistent correlation found between jet and vortex strength and solar activity. Last but not least, we've been discussing Earth's ongoing magnetic excursion, and we usually talk large scale with geomagnetic vulnerability to space weather, but on the more localized scale, we've often discussed the lightning. We're looking at one of the reasons the world we built isn't built for the world coming. Most pipes and many other structures, even in our homes, are fine at modern levels of atmospheric electricity, but atmospheric electricity is changing. Not only in amplitude and magnitude, but in the rate of shift, especially due to nearby weather. Unfortunately, the now rare event subject to ever-evolving theory may get a chance to be more easily tested, as we've already seen lightning records fall this year with that especially scary trend in the Arctic. Folks, it is the last day to pre-order the next end of the world. They are arriving mid-month of February, and we are geared to ship otf.cells.com. We also have new hats there as well. For those looking at Observer Ranch unit membership and are hoping to visit next month, time is a ticking and it is a few day process at least to get everything squared away. And for everyone helping to make it happen, I am literally humbled at what's happening. We greatly appreciate your support. Subscribe and we'll do this all again tomorrow. Right here, but right now, it's 5.35 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.